You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We have some special guests with us in the building. This is such a beautiful thing, man, because a few weeks ago, a few Fridays ago, we had this uh, this young old man, 52 Savage, Correct. on. Say what up, 52. Yeah. And then my guy, uh, Daniel Rubenstein, uh, was I was connected with him through Mr. Flawless, Shout salute to Mr. to Mr. Flawless, and Daniel Rubenstein is a man of his word. A few weeks later, they both were sitting here, and Fifty Two Savage got thirty two teeth. Thirty two Savage. Let me see the teeth. You gotta show us the teeth one time. His swag is different. Mm. Show us the teeth. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at the teeth. Uh, right now. Now, 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 Doctor Rubenstein. It's been a long up, time since I've done this, so I'm practicing. I'm can Can Fifty Two Savage <laughs> eat steak? Can he eat everything? Yeah, yeah. Is he fully good to do whatever he needs to do? He, it's like anything else. When you get something new. It takes a little bit of practice, mm -hmm. okay. but once he gets the hang of it, he could eat anything, basically. Now, how was the procedure putting these teeth in? Did you have to knock out his three teeth or the teeth that he had? I, I, I didn't. Actually, five so he teeth. Five no, teeth. Five he, has, he has four and a half. Four and a half. Four, four, and, a half. four and a half teeth. So, um, And I actually well, incorporated his, his teeth with the whole procedure. Oh, wow. And I didn't take them out because... Actually, I use them as anchors to hold everything together. So really? it was a blessing in disguise, yeah. Now, why sure. the hell was Bow Wow there yesterday? Because when I saw the picture of Bow Wow in the office, that's I said, are they trying to do a Bow, man, a Bow Wow challenge? No, no. He came in for a visit. He came in for support? Oh, that's one of minutes. your clients? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came in to take care of his girl. Got you. Yeah. Dr. Rubenstein out here moving. So tell me how this uh, all happened and explain what kind of teeth these are. Because I know you said there were different procedures that you could uh, do to give him his teeth. So what procedure did you do? Okay, so... Uh, you know, having four and a half teeth, you could do. <laughs> that just sounds so crazy, man. That sounds so crazy. Five. Okay, There's so many things you can do. Uh, you could do a massive surgery, place implants, takes six months to heal, then another six months Ooh, to do yeah. it. it. It could be over a year, a year and a half. Oh, I, I was like, it. I want this gentleman to go out today with a smile that's going to last for a long, long time. Correct. So I used my noggin and I spoke to my team and I was like, what can we do? And we, we decided to use his actual healthy four and a half teeth. Mm -hmm. as anchors for the whole smile makeover and basically that's holding everything together and it's nice and tight in there and he's gonna How have long a good did time. it take? Oh god. It took uh Very roughly tender. like eight to ten hours. Eight wow. did you go wow. to sleep? No, I didn't no it wasn't eight to ten hours consecutive. Mm -hmm. It was we did a little work, pause, we had to have some my lab technicians work on it, come back, work on it a little bit more. So um it was basically like Four to six appointments all in one shot. And you did it in your office? In my office. But a lot of people said that it would be, you know, you're a dentist, so he would have to go to an oral surgeon. Right, But right. that, that right. didn't have I to took happen. care of it. I brought everyone to my office. Wow. Dr. Rubenstein got a team. Happen. I made it happen. How do you feel, 52? I feel good. Because all of them fine. Have you what? always had, all, when the last time you had all your teeth in your mouth? I can't remember. Probably, uh... 16, 17, 18. How did you lose them to begin with? It's not taking care of them? Hard eating candies, going to sleep with the nail ladies in my mouth not and all that good shit. Oh, no, nah, I hated him because I, I, I associated the dentist with pain. Absolutely. You don't so, even know how to talk right now. No, nah, I don't, but I'm learning. Yeah. I can rap though. Now, bit. his four and a half teeth were in good condition though. There's this no good. cavities. They were. <laughs> we, we, uh, Bob. we fixed them up. We fixed them up. So we made it so that they're salvageable mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, he's doing really well. I mean, like anything else, you buy a new pair of shoes, the most expensive new pair of shoes, so mm -hmm. you have to learn how to walk in them. Correct. And in the mouth especially, you have to know how to use them properly, and he's getting there. I mean, this is literally, I put him in like an hour ago, two well, hours ago. Well, maintenance after the fact is very important because yeah. clearly he yeah. didn't know how to take oh, care of his teeth to begin with. Hours ago, y'all just finished? We just, just, just finished. finished. So I went, we, we didn't, you slept? He was asleep. He told me he was asleep. By late. At your age, I got home by three forty-five. Three forty-five in the morning. He dropped me off, wow. picked me up again at yeah five thirty. You need some sleep at your age now. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you have you to numb teeth. his mouth, or what? How did that work? Oh, oh, yeah. Novocaine. I gave him a, a little Novocaine, but not not really. I mean, mm -hmm. I knew exactly where I needed to to touch his teeth, and I knew that. Some areas are not going to feel anything, and he did really, really well. Have you talk, talk about maintenance after the fact? Because he didn't know how to take care of his teeth before. We don't yeah. want him to lose so, these. So his... Now they gave me a whole toothbrush. Talk to Mike. Talk to Mike. <laughs> what? what? So I used to have a half. I ain't had that much. Time. <clears throat> and I was finished, but he gave me a whole. A whole. Oh, toothbrush. you used to have a half. And this time, a whole, whole pack of the toothpaste lasts me less than a year or so. Hey, <laughs> hey, now you about to see, now you got to start I'm spending money on two pieces. Exactly. Dang, I was saving money at first. No idea. I'm very appreciative, bro. My Get brother. To you. Love, man. So what you really want to work. Now, now Charlamagne <laughs> was asking about maintaining. How, how does he maintain his grill now? Okay, so, you know, many of us start off with 32 teeth. 
uh, then we start losing it throughout life. So right now, 52 Savage has four and a half teeth in his mouth, and those are the most f important teeth in his mouth because that's what's going to hold everything together. So the way you, you maintain it, you got to brush, floss, use mouth rinse, just really keep an eye on those four and a half teeth. Now, can you pick up these new habits at, at your age, 52? Pick up. Yes. Yeah. It's not, I mean, to. I'm going to have to if I want to keep these. Or, Is it better to use an electric toothbrush? No. You know I what? use that, but it, I feel like... <laughs> If you know how to brush your teeth properly no, with a I manual mean, toothbrush, then that works fine. Uh, for a lot of people, they don't use it properly, so electric toothbrush probably works out better. What's but, properly? like? You know, you, the angulation, mm -hmm. how hard you brush it. Um, so, I mean, the electric toothbrush basically takes away all that thinking process and just put it against your tooth. It does all the work. 52, you cannot clean your jewelry more than you clean your teeth, okay? Exactly. <laughs> you got to talk to the mic. First. Take the mic. Mike. Oh, they gonna see this first, so I gotta do this first. Look how my mouth. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you get back to Dallas? Take these out. <laughs> <laughs> so he can take the teeth out. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to him. So he, he's making me. He making me wear. Them. Wear them, man. Why you would you take them out? Keep them in. Now he can eat anything that he wants right now. He needs to, yes. Steak. You can eat steak. Chicken. Yes. Vagina. Oh, I, 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 as he, he chooses. <laughs> yes, he's he so certain vagina. <laughs> he was doing that before. <laughs> Give me anything. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was speaking about mine. See? Okay. So I like Big Mom. Cause Big Mom take care of business. They That's clean. your next single, right? Yeah, it is really. But um, I'm yeah. Now he won't have any problem with the teeth just falling out here in the club DJing no. on the mic. That's you know, what I told him. Out. I said I don't want nothing that moves no. when I move. Right. So he was like, okay, I'll take credit. So the teeth will stay in They're regardless. Stay in because we're <sighs> using his actual teeth as anchors. And I mean, his teeth, his Actual. bone is so strong. Hey, yo. Even though he had so much, you know. So yeah, much you got to pause that, then, Mr. <laughs> Rubenstein. Jesus Christ, his bone is so strong. What the hell? <laughs> so anyway, so um, no comment on that. <laughs> the denture is gonna hold up really well. Really well. Now, if somebody wanted to to, to do this procedure and pay for it, yeah. How much would it cost ballpark? Don't lie. How you know fifty two ain't paid for it? You don't know. We do know. You know? Do we do know? We he didn't it get the he money in his GoFundMe. They don't know nothing. Well, how, much, how much would it have cost? Ballpark. Because we did it also in one day, I brought the whole team. I mean, it, it could range between fifteen and 25000 Goodness gracious. Merry Christmas. It's worth Mother it, though, man. It's savage. worth it. It's definitely worth it. 52 it's Savage. I got sees. a percentage on it now. <laughs> <laughs> one of the first things but we But I'm blessed, though. Team. I mean, that's what you said, and that's true. I asked you that, and you was like, no, the chain. I was like, no. I did not teeth. say the chain. <laughs> Ooh, do I need to rewind? She did say the chain. <laughs> I said the teeth, yes. I told him, I asked somebody, no. Yep. DJ to DJ. And you mm -hmm. said, yeah, the smile. I said, thank you. Can, can I thank Which, you? Yes, sir. That's really, that's the reason why I want to, because people notice this and won't give me a chance to see my talent. So. Right. Just for the haters. That's why I got it. Yeah, now they can't. I ain't get it for me. They can't talk negative about you now. They can't. But they can't. They're going to do that teeth. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just can't use this. Yeah, but yeah, they yeah. still will when somebody else paid for it. You know how brothers do. So what? That's a lot what, of people were hating blessing. on that GoFundMe. They were like, well, he got all them chains. Why can't he just pay for it? Well, I was, I was fly before the teeth. So what I'm supposed to throw away my. <laughs> uh, most cussing. You fly Throw now. away my stuff <laughs> before. Because I ain't got teeth. Now I'm still be clean. Now, you got to have something else to look at too. So I'm going to. Accessory up. Now, what you were saying, Dr. Rubenstein? Like in Yeah, so one of the biggest things that you could the see Rolex. as a change in his total face, 52 Savage face, is that the lower portion of the face, if you don't have teeth, it, it kind of collapses. Right. And it makes you look a lot older. Mm. So when you, you know, put in teeth properly, it will build up that that uh, part of the mouth and it'll make you look so much younger. And that's why all these comments that he's getting is like, man, you look like you're 25 years old now, 35 years that's old. They lying. They, they definitely lying. lying. I'm going to say they early lying. 40s. That's somebody want to ride the wave and they're like, oh, they lying. <laughs> <laughs> 40. Don't fall 40. for the gas. I do 40. 40. You say 25, you trying to get in my pocket. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I push the button on that. But hey, give, all love, man, for New York. I'm going to be honest, man, I went to West Coast. I went to Atlanta. I've been mean, a lot of places. When I came to New York, I was like, oh, damn, New York ain't never had a good rapport with the South, so I wonder how it's going to be. But the East Coast, man, stepped all the way up. And all I want to do is just say I really appreciate it. Cause I really didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect this much. I expect maybe we'll get on the main show because we've been talking or whatever. But that's far as I thought it would go. But for them to step up and do this for me, mm -hmm. this is probably the first time I actually shared it a tour because I didn't expect it. Right. It came out of left field on me. I was like, oh, man, Charlemagne, what the? Well, I'm from South Carolina, so my hospitality a little different, man. But, you know, salute to Dr. Uh, Rubenstein. Your hospitality got me up here, bro, and I appreciate it. 
All love, my brother. Salute to Dr. Rubenstein, though. Know, like, for him but to him, step up the way he spent his money on it, so let me... Yes, he but, did. Not, but not only that, he took a day out of his his practice where he yes. could have been, had patients and That's true. Did other, many different things. Yeah. And, and it's made, a team effort. It and, really and, is a team and effort. And we appreciate you and your team, man. By myself, I wouldn't be able to achieve this. So shout, shout out some of your team members, man. Maybe they're listening to this Everyone morning. at Ben Sir's Dental, um, especially my lab techs. Michelle. 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 You like She's Michelle, fine. huh? She fine? I thought you took a picture you of her. You can highlight her. That was the darkest one now, so I hate I mean, my whole squad, they work so hard and the energy is very similar to mine and they're they're all my right hands and they really do it for the bottom of their hearts. So I think, you know, I love what I do and I'm very blessed that I was able to help him and whoever else I can. And your practice is Bensonhurst Dental in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Where can people get in touch with you if they if they want to? I mean, Instagram is cool. Okay. What's the Instagram? It's D-R underscore Rubenstein. R-U-B-I-N-S-H- T E I N. You do kids as well? Uh, I work with some kids, sure. What, what and ages? all those ladies trying to holler, okay? This is about business. <laughs> oh, I keep trying. Listen, I told, I told y'all business. last time, Dr. Rubenstein <laughs> is an eligible bachelor. I got a lot of single home girls that need a Dr. Rubenstein in their life, okay? But if you want to, maybe a good way to do it would, would be to go ahead and book that appointment. That's it. Book the appointment at Benson Hurst Dental. <laughs> yeah. All right? <laughs> and tell them the Breakfast Club sent you. It's not going to last you go hear from Dr. Rubenstein, though. We're going to have him up here a lot just talking about teeth and whatnot. Absolutely. And we got to get Dr. Rubenstein on TV. He's, he's too handsome not to be oh, on television. You. you guys are amazing. Right. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Was that your this. shot? You shooting your shot over there, bro? That's my guy right there. I know. And look One at how great time. his teeth are. That's important. You don't want to go to a dentist. You Last time I was here, my kids got <laughs> on me. I forgot to say out to me, I Kiki, Southern Delight, my son, Jeray. Kiki, love. Seven Delight. Southern Delight, that's oh, her IG. And uh, my son, Jeremy, Jeray, fully love. I, may, I love y'all, I miss y'all. Daddy getting money. How many kids you had? You three? Two. Two. You named like You named three people just now. <laughs> no, that's nickname. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Got you, got you, got you, got you. I got to get my, that's my girl, Kiki, so mm-hmm. her nickname is Southern Delight and Jeremy. Rating, that's his nickname. Well, listen, round of applause to 52 Savage, man. Rubenstein, Drop on the cool box man. for 52 and Dr. Rubenstein. Thank you, guys. We Thank you, man. appreciate you guys again, man. Thank you so very much for coming up here and enjoy the tea, man. You got to call us after Thanksgiving. Tell us how oh, Thanksgiving was. Why was Fat Boy I'm here? i call you tomorrow. I'm not trying to call him in. I just seen Fat Boy running around. He's asleep. He, he fell asleep. Fell asleep. <laughs> what the hell, <laughs> Fat Boy? You waiting on 52 Savage. He fell asleep holding his phone. Fat boy, Fat what boy, are you doing? come here, yo. <laughs> Fat boy, what are you doing? Fat boy fell asleep. <laughs> he got a whole Fat boy, dog. what up, my brother? What is Fat Everybody boy doing? How you? We still, still ain't got no breakfast for you, Fat boy. His <laughs> eyes is all red. I need to work on that. How are you, Mr. Generous? What's happening, Mr. Generous? What's up, Unc? I love you, Unc. What's up with you? Talk to the mic, Fat boy, so they can hear you. What's going on here? What's up, world? What's up, people, man? I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to the Breakfast Club, Charlemagne, DJ Envy, Angelie. Y'all all beautiful. Happy morning to y'all. Love y'all. Congrats. I see you got a lot of new deals on the table. Yes, yes. A lot of new deals, a lot of new money. Uh, We just happy. We just living. Shout out to the doc. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, salute to Fat Boy. One of the first times I heard of Dr. Rubenstein was through Fat Boy's Instagram. Of course. Of course, he get my teeth right. Word. It's my doctor. He get my teeth right. He make sure I'm good. And now we got 52 good. So thank yeah, Dr. Rubenstein helping the, the oh, culture. God. It's been a long time. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.